Hi, my name is Josh Larson, I'm head coach of the national team at USA Climbing. I've been coaching climbing for more than 12 years now. I started out coaching youth teams and at the same time I was also um, on the national bouldering team. So I would go to World Cups, became team captain for, for USA Climbing while we were on the road traveling together. With this whole combination of coaching and comp climbing already, stepping in as team manager, I was asked to be the official head coach. I had big aspirations to be helpful to the U.S. team. I'm really excited to where it is because two years ago, I wouldn't have imagined to have so much influence or ideas to bounce back and forth. I feel like Josh really nails the combo of like coach, mentor, as well as friend and peer. That's where I want to sit, is I want to be there for them for climbing and I want to be there for them in like situations. We're here in Salt Lake City because this is our home base. The local gyms let us come in and, and set boulders and roots from time to time. And the front allowed us to come in and, and set a section of the wall. And what we try to do in training um, and in setting for the athlete is to specifically target their weaknesses. And I don't care if we're even not doing the boulder or not doing the moves, but as long as you're learning something, it's valuable. Power is like, for sure, she's, she's powerful. She's got good contact strength. She's quite coordinated with the modern movement of comp style boulders. I think one weakness that Kyra had and has improved on a lot is moving slower when it's really, really important to move slow. I honestly think that Josh is one of the most talented root setters in the country, if not world. I think the amount that he's been able to set is absolutely incredible. The way he can like, come up with movement that is unique and new uh, is kind of unparalleled, I think, in really any other coach that I've been with. I think that's going to make a huge difference for our team. The challenges of a combined discipline are the energy and thinking capacity that you need in a day of combined training and combined performance is the limit of what these athletes will most likely feel in competition. So it's just mentally taxing. And then physically, it's just, it comes out to being ready for those, those big days. And we've been running these combined training days. So we basically do like an hour to an hour and a half of each discipline, no rest. We're doing 10 laps on speed. Then we're gonna go boulder for an hour and a half and then we're gonna run six or eight routes and lead. And it kicks their butt and it's supposed to. And that's what we want and that's, they feel good with that. And we're learning a lot from it. Like, did you feel hungry? Did you have enough water in your system? Did you warm up enough? Did you warm up too much? So we've been able to like keep a lot of notes and also just kind of have conversations at the end of the sessions. Definitely still growing day to day in coaching. Um, there's always something for me to take home and think about and write down. And well, when I started climbing, there was basically no such thing as a coach. You would just have your friends and you'd have VHS videos to watch. I had no big goals to be a climbing coach. And then, yeah, as, as soon as I started just a little bit of coaching, I felt some strong emotion attached to it, like a good feeling of being able to, to help other people. And that's basically been my life for the past 12, 15 years is coaching and climbing, because that's really why I'm in all of this is because I love climbing. The journey has been amazing. And at the end of the day, it's just climbing. And I think that's something important that we all should remember that it's just climbing. It's just climbing.